The festive season is well and true here. Christmas is just around the corner. So it's time to start thinking about food, which is one of the best bits about Christmas. And there's so much to think about when it comes to Christmas food, all sort of little party bits, the big day itself, all of the drinks to go as well. There's so much to think about food when it comes to Christmas. But it doesn't need to be overwhelming, especially if you have vegans coming around. Extra little complication. <laughs> don't, don't, you don't need to worry. If you're vegan yourself and you're hosting and you want to impress family members, friends who are not vegan, or like I said, if you've got some vegans coming over and you're not vegan, you're like, what do I cook them? What can I make? What can I look that's impressive? Mm. We're here to help you. We're like, you don't Christmas elves. This video is all about hosting, so we have a bunch of delicious vegan recipes, both food and drink, to share with you. So whether you're doing a Christmas gathering, a little party, you're hosting Christmas Eve and you want some nice little kind of nibbly bits, so this isn't like your nut roast, your main event kind of thing, this is like those extra bits. So instead of going to the supermarket and just buying a bunch of frozen things out mm. of the freezer, like, you know, a spring roll or a samosa. Also, that ends up costing like cost in the earth. It's so does. expensive. And they never taste that good. They're no. also a bit soggy and a bit disappointing. So we thought we'd share with you some of our favorite little super easy, and I know we say easy a lot, but one of these recipes is literally three ingredients. And it looks like you're gonna have like, it looks like someone will have catered your party. Mm. Like they just look very impressive, but it's minimal effort, which is what you want at Christmas time. You don't want to be spending hours in the kitchen every time someone pops around for a cup of tea. No, you want more time with your friends and family. Let's get into the first recipe. This recipe is super, super simple. It's essentially three ingredients. The main thing is the puff pastry. Most puff pastries from the supermarkets are naturally vegan friendly, which is amazing. You could obviously make your own puff pastry, but we're going for quick, easy, achievable things because often when you're hosting you're doing like lots of little bits so maybe you've got one thing that you're spending extra bit of time on and then some other things that you just want to kind of add to the, the table so we're going to be making some very cute little puff pastry Christmas trees and we've got these skewers um, and our two other ingredients are mama and cheese match made in heaven with pastry it's going to be delicious are big Marmite fans, um, hopefully you guys are too. If you're not that keen on Marmite, then you could just do these with the cheese, maybe get a few different types of cheese. You could get like a vegan red Leicester, mix it with a bit of cheddar, maybe like a garlic and herb cream cheese type thing, like do a three cheese. Um, you could also go down at the sweet root and do some nice vegan chocolate spread, maybe some little berries in there. It's more kind of like the concept of the puff pastry tree and then you can kind of like play with whatever fillings that you like in it you could do like a savory and a sweet option or you know get creative A messy task so be prepared uh, at the minute I'm making little tree toppers we don't have a star shape um, a star would be cute if you've got like a mini star cut out um, so we're just doing little giant bobbly things for the top <laughs> So for this recipe, we're gonna be making the ultimate finger food, party food, and that is crostinis. These are gonna be such a hit at your Christmas party. We're just gonna use a bake at home baguette and top it with some gorgeous cashew cream, cashew cheese, and some other bits. It's gonna be great, let's get into it.
just arrived at a Christmas party. Okay. And um, the person that's wearing it is not vegan. But they've plopped these down and they've gone, I made these, they're vegan. Okay. Well, if, in, initially, off the look of them, yeah. I'd be like, wow, that's really kind of you to go to that level of effort to make this specially for me. Okay, now eat it and tell me what you think. And also imagine that you've hosted a party and you're serving this to like non-vegans and you moderate the rest of them. Mm. Spoiler, I've already tried them, so I know. Mm. <laughs> I know that they taste good. If someone, sorry, give me one, one trip. First thing, if someone made these for me and I turned up at the party, I'd be like, <laughs> Not just for you, but you know. Just for me, if someone made them just for me, I would be like, that's insane. These are so good. Give them to everyone else. We're everyone so, needs to so try it. We're so we're just talking about our own food. No, but you know like, when something is so tasty and it's vegan, you're like, I need all of the people that aren't vegan at the party to try it. Yeah. And decide to go vegan because of it. Well, that would also be annoying because there's like nothing else you can eat and you're like, eat your own yeah. food. Um, and if I was serving these to people at a party, I'd be like, have you tried the crustinis? You <laughs> You'd be They're the, delicious. Going around with your platter, being hostess with the most. Yeah. These are just really good. And I think what I really like about them is that they've got like a slight taste of like, they've got like the consistency of a duck pate, but the taste of stuffing. So they're it's like, very Christmassy. they're like super Christmassy. They're like rich and festive. But then you've got the sweetness from the pomegranate and the agave that cuts through and like a little bit of sharpness from the balsamic. They're just a really nice rounded bite. They're really good. And easy. Merry Christmas. Our next recipe is a festive drink. And I think drinks are one of those things that can kind of get forgotten at parties. You can like shove down a bottle of Prosecco or something sparkly, but it's really nice to make a little bit of effort with drinks and serve like a lovely, delicious, spiced, cozy cocktail at Christmas. And something that we love to do is a spiced white Russian, but obviously veganized. The key ingredients that we need are vodka. So we're using the absolute vodka. Um, this is a really nice, um, very accessible vodka. You can buy this in all the supermarkets. It's not like your bog standard bottom shelf vodka. I mean, we even got ours on deal. So we got like yeah. four quid off or so. It was like 12 down from 16 or something. Yeah, it's like a nice like middle range. Um, You'll find it on deal all the time. It, it's, it's tasty. And then the other thing we need is a coffee liqueur. So Kahlua is not being friendly. So we're using Kia Maria, which is, and then we're gonna be mixing in um, some vegan soy cream. You could use oat cream as well. And then some lovely spices. So we're gonna get started by making a festive spiced simple syrup. Whilst the simple syrup is on the hob, it's just dissolving and all the flavors are coming together. We're gonna to make our cinnamon sugar and this is potentially an optional step, but we like to do it. It gives the glass an extra little something that's special. So we're gonna do a sugar cinnamon rim um, for our glasses. So you're gonna prep a plate and you can leave that to one side um, whilst your syrup is on the hob. How cute are these? I mean, you probably, you might, you I don't know, I don't know what glassware you've got, but you might not have this specific thing. And most of the time, you would serve a white Russian in a tumbler. Um, but I saw these in the cup and I thought, they are very cute. They look like the kind of thing that you would find in like the North Pole or something. I know this is a super specific reference, but my piano teacher used to drink a latte out of a glass that was essentially exactly like that. I think it is that, like it's a like a um, like Irish coffee type thing, and this is kind of got some flavour. So, ooh, got a kick, 
very tasty though. In a good way? Yeah, in like a <laughs> in full of alcohol way. And this might be the first time we've ever like drunk alcohol on camera. No, we've been on a lot of like holidays, like drinking red wine in Paris and... But in like a recipe sense. Think about the amount of um, Aperol spritzes we had on our Italy trip. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was different because it doesn't feel like we were like working, being like, here's a recipe. That was just like us on our honeymoon. Yeah. Whereas now it's like... Drinking out of the job. <laughs> and now it is. I was like, it feels like I'm drinking on the job. Mm. Yeah, sure. Hey, I'll give you the camera. Okay. I'm just going to start. I love the garnish, but I think I'll get it up my nose. So I'm going to move it for now. Yeah. That's perfect. That's like super silky smooth. Like... Punchy though. I like a drink where it's not like, ooh, that's alcoholic, but like, no. it's nice to know that you're drinking alcohol. Yeah, you that's can like, taste it. Yeah, which I think why is one of the main reasons to use like a decent uh, vodka. Because if you get something a bit crummy, you'll probably taste it. Absolutely. But no, this is well nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is not, not sponsored, not but if you want to send us some money. Mm. This is perfect decorating the tree 